Shout out to Marco Pedrana, AMG, Alfredo Jr., Dan Real, Big Mantis, Christopher Gray, Mata Alcusa, Nathan Arseno, and Touch My Dilly. Welcome back in with King Family to another F1 Clash video, and it's part two of How to Win Series 1, uh, where we dive in straight into the series, giving you guys direct strategies for each each tracks. This year, we're, we're, we're trying to get every single track uh, in each series into the video uh, so you can't say game wicking you didn't do the six lap race you didn't do the seven lap race i'm trying to get every track in the video all right so if you didn't watch our first part one of this series we did bahrain and we did uh imila on part one so we're going to be hoping to get the other two tracks here in part two all right so let's jump back into it we want to get uh japan and brazil for this video all right let's jump into it and see if we can get those two tracks oh we're using the same drivers uh, from before in the previous video i forgot to show you guys the drivers uh, so we're, we're we were using joe level one and kevin magnuson level one and for setup we were using no part we added no parts to the car as at this point in the game it makes no sense to add any parts to the car uh, as you're only going to be increasing your your score and be facing harder rivals basically all right so let's jump on in and see if we can get uh japan and brazil for our next two races all right let's go here we go for our first race and we got japan really nice here loving it hopefully we could get brazil in the next race and that would be it nice and easy simple not a lot of searching like I normally would have to do like 150 searches to get all the tracks. This is why I normally don't put all the tracks in there. Uh, because it takes time. It takes a lot of time to search for all the tracks. Alright. Alright. So we're going to go with the same strategy uh, here on Japan. Suzuka. Let's go. And as I said in the previous video, you want to you wanna try to keep your drivers that in front on the softer compound or else the drivers that's behind if he's on the softer compound he's going to glitch the driver at the front to slow him down uh and take the lead all right because he's on the softer compound come on get around there k okay. go k okay, mag go nice nice little drive in there from kevin magnuson to take the lead uh and we're gonna cut them down whoa look at that the rivals get out the rival joe spin out but he blocked the track on his spin out caused in our driver to lose position which was highly unfair to us let's see if k-mac can take this position as well we're gonna cut him down right there that was unfair to us dojo managed to get the position uh he spinned out the rival spinned out and blocked the track so we could not go by while he spun out all right so that's that's highly unfair to us there uh, but it's all right we're still in the lead here uh, with K Mag P18, the rival Zhou uh, in P21. And we see Arjo kind of losing positions at the back, but that's all right. We're not going to focus too much on Arjo. We're focusing mainly on our lead driver, which is K Mag at the moment on the softer compound tires. All right. Yeah, Zhou, you, you kind of want to pay attention to Zhou as well, but you kind of don't want to pay too much attention. And then it's like. If I'm like paying attention to Joe here and then K Mag like lose a position, that would be all on my fault, really, because I should have been paying attention uh, to K Mag. All right. While Joe is here holding, taking his time to cruise around. All right. Let's see if the rival is going to go to pit. Yes, he does. And we are at 50% crossing the line with our Joe. So we have enough to do four laps with Joe. We're going to come back to soft tires on K Mag. No servicing. To do a boost lap and joe still holding the line in p21 doing really nice here nice driving here from guan yu joe holding that line keeping the rivals behind slowing down the pack behind him not losing any position give him a little support there to defend that position uh, and as he's getting attacked by lance stroll not letting stroll by that's exactly what you want uh, to see uh, Looks like Sonoda is out of tires and he's going to go to pit. So we're going to boost now in our K-Mag 
for our pit stop. The rival should go to pit here, leaving Orjo to go and take the lead. All right. Beautiful, beautiful race. Beautiful race. I didn't. I wanted my K Mac to get out before the rival uh, Zhou comes around, but he got blocked, so he could not go by. But that's all right. We're gonna keep boost on K Mac. Uh, we want him to do two laps on these softs. All right, let's cut him down to regular driving a bit here, so he can pick up some position. Uh, Zhou now losing his position uh, to the rival because we were paying attention to K Mag and not paying attention to our lead driver. As I always say, you want to pay attention to your lead driver and we don't want uh k mag to glitch joe back uh as he's on the softer compound so we're gonna boost joe in now and then boost k mag uh to go catch up to the rival joe who's on those mediums let's go go k mag go we're boosting him right into pit to uh, hard tires and doing our servicing then we're going to cut Joe down. We, we don't really have to cut Joe down here because he did four laps and it's three laps remaining as it's a seven lap race. So we could boost Joe for like one lap and then cut him down to manage the tires from there. But our main focus is to get in front of this Kevin Magnuson. All right, our tires are about to go out. We're slowed and we're losing servicing, but we made it to pit. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. You need to go by. You need to go by, Joe. Joe did not make it. Joe did not make it by, guys. That's not good news for us. That is not good news for us. Or Guan Yu Zhou did not make it in front of the rival Zhou. That's not good news. We got blocked up all over the place for this one. All right. So since K Mac. Oh, let's see if Zhou can squeeze in there. Almost squeezed in there. Come on, come on, Joe. You can do this. All right, just let K Mag go. Then, if you can't get it done, Joe, we need to keep uh, our drivers nice and tight. Come on, K Mag, where are you at? Yeah, he's gonna let that number twenty-three also by. We don't want that at all. All right, so now we can let K Mag go by. Nice overtake there, and look at that. K Mag got blocked up. Oh no, K Mag got blocked up there. We're still in the lead as the rival is in pit, getting blocked up there. As we're on now our final lap, we're going to cut Joe down and let K-Mag go by so he can try and challenge. We have a few cars that we want to keep behind our Joe. Come on, keep that position, Joe. He's about to run out of tires and we want to keep that K-Mag on boost uh, so he can probably make up some position. Hopefully the rival Joe. The rival uh, who's in, in K-Mag doesn't make up any position. And we can take this win here. All right. So we're going to keep that boost on our drivers as we go across the line. And it's now a matter of is K-Mag going to be making up any position? No, he's not. And there goes the win uh, for us here at Suzuka. All right. Great win there at Suzuka. If K-Mag had got one position, we'd have got the loss. Uh, but we got mainly mainly not the, f the fault of the strategy there, mainly the fault of the gameplay. We got blocked up uh, a few times when we shouldn't have been blocked up, but it is what it is. We still managed to hold off uh, for the win. All right. So we're going to try and jump into the next track. Hopefully we can get the final track, which is Brazil. Uh, and that would be so nice. All right. All right, so let's jump on in to our final race of part two of the series one, how to win series. Here we go for a race on Sao Paulo, Brazil. Now, we've been searching a little bit to find Brazil here, <laughs> but finally we found Brazil. So this is going to complete our series one, part two video and our series two video or, or how to win series one video completion. All right. Hopefully we can pull off a win here, getting out qualified by Cape Megan Show. All right, so Brazil is a little bit uh, easier uh, in some sense because uh, it's the tires are more. All right, on Brazil, your tires are worth more on Brazil, so Brazil is a, a kind of a little bit easier. All right, we see the rival Kevin Magnuson there going to 
soft tires. Let's look. So he's going to be doing three laps on those softs. Well, we're going to be trying to go. Nice outside line from Guan Yu Zhou. Look at that. Go, Zhou. Go. Go, Zhou. Nice outside line there. Beautiful. Hopefully, he does. Come on, Zhou. Hold that position. Glitch back in front. Look at K-Mac coming. Flying down there. Trying to overtake Zhou. Oh, what an outside line there from Guan Yu Zhou. Beautiful racing here at Brazil. Oh, man. You wouldn't imagine that, huh? All right, we're going to cut them down right there. Uh, right now, we basically have a huge lead on the rival. Both our drivers in front of the rival drivers. Now, that's insane. And look at the Team Arders bug that's going to affect the rival Zhou. Uh, so the rival K-Mac can pass. Look, he's, he's going to try to boost everything. He's not going to be able to overtake us because he'll have to slow down to let his, his teammate on the softer compounds pass. All right, I'm telling you that there's some form of bug there, uh, but... Uh, it is what it is. All right. So, yep. There he goes now. Uh, the soft compound got him, gets him by him. And that's it. Now he's going to go back to his regular speed of driving. Once they're back and back by like that, it's going to be problems. Trust me. <laughs> Once they're back and back, it's going to be problems. I've been doing a lot of races. And I've been facing that exact same problem in some of my races. All right. So, uh, because Brazil now is... As I said, your tires are worth more at Brazil here. Uh, you can do more. All right. So I'm going to make sure to boost uh, my my Zhou here to not let my Magnuson bug, bug him out to slow him down. As we'll boost here. Uh, boat drivers by pit. All right. We're going to bring in Zhou to hards with servicing. And we're going to bring now Magnuson in. To hards with servicing as well boat rival has made their pit stops are they going to be switching to softs or mediums or hards softs coming on for joe there that's good news for us uh medium softs all right mediums for joe so that's also good news for us all right so we're just going to let our drivers cruise in uh here k mag a little out of tires so we're going to boost him in uh, to make his pit stop with servicing. We're coming back on hard tires on boat or drivers. Why I'm coming back on hard tires on boat, my drivers, is that I'm not going to be stopping again. So I want my drivers to be on the final compound. Uh, look at that block up in the pits. Man, I hate that. Hate that blocking in the pits. But we got out in the position. So we're going to cut down to regular driving uh, for four laps as we just need three. And we're gonna cut down to regular driving. We could be boosting here, uh, as we just need three out of out of. We just need like four laps out of the the remaining five laps of that tires that we have. So we're gonna make sure we we're gonna make sure we keep Joe ahead of the rival. Let's give K Mag a little boost here. Let's give Joe a little boost here to try and keep him ahead. Come on, hold him, Joe. All right, we're going to cut down there and there. And we see K-Mag right on his tail as well. All right, so we're going to keep regular driving on them here. We're going to cut down to conserve where we can. So we're going to cut down to conserve here to kind of save some of that tires uh, in the harder portion of the track where, where we know overtaking is more harder. Uh, so we know we won't get any overtake there. The rival K-Mag should be going to pit now. Uh, we want to make sure our Zhou or K-Mag get by the rival oh so he's going to pit with boat drivers which is nice news for us so we're going to squeeze by with boat or drivers on these hards and now we're going to start to focus mainly on magnuson here because we want him to defend and we just keep them on conserve to save that tire uh for that final push lap when we know the rival is going to be boosting uh home on the final lap we also want to be boosting and we there we see k mag getting affected by the back marker we do not want to get affected by the back marker car, so we're going to boost our Magnuson. And the back marker is just going to hold him uh, right there until he finishes his race uh, right now. The lead car, I should say. All right, so once the lead car finishes his race, that's when K-Mag is going to be able to overtake the lead car. And there you see him now going by the lead car, hunting us down. But yeah, we're too far away. And there goes our win at Brazil. All right, so as I said, Brazil, your tires are worth a little more. So all you need to do is get that four lap on those mediums and then you go to hards all the way home.
all right all the way home do five laps on your hearts come back to mediums all the way home you could do four four all the way home all right as long as you're not making two stops at brazil as your tires are worth a lot more so it's a basically one stop strategy all right all right so that's basically going to be it for part two of our how to win series one series uh starting off the how to win series we're going to be going as high as we are currently at uh, in the game once again we see our match nice and fair and same car as well all right so don't force don't force to to uh throw on parts on your car and do not force to level up your drivers all right if you if you have if you have uh mick schumacher then you want to use your mick schumacher instead of your joe instead of kevin magnuson is that if you have alexander alexander albon then you want to use your albon instead of using joe and kevin magnuson or you could just use joe and kevin magnuson as you see it's fairly easy you don't really have to level them up and you don't really have to put them on all right one thing you need to know about the new team score uh the game is going to try its best to match you with a team score that's equal to your team score all right so let's say you put on let's say you put on right now joe and joe and uh Magnuson team score is 126, which is the lowest team score could go. Now, if you put on uh, a driver like Mick here, that's going to increase your team score to 244. All right. If you put on some parts on the car, let's say you throw some Series 1 parts on the car, you unlock some parts. So you throw in some Series 1 parts. So let's say you unlock three parts and you throw three parts on the car. All right. Now your team score is going to be 282. All right. Now a player, that's 282, right? All right. Let's look at it this way. A player who's going to be using, let's say a player unlock, for example, a, a Valtteri Bottas. Uh, don't I have a Series 1 Epic? Nope, I don't have. All right. So let's say a player has a Valtteri Bottas. All right. And he has K-Mag. Now, if he's running all stock part, that's gonna decrease his score. And then because you put on you you put on you upgraded your score, all right. Your score, let's say you upgraded your score and your score was 346, and the player is on a bottas and on 346 as well. This match and your match is gonna be a fair match uh, because the scores are equal. All right. So you want to make sure you understand how the score works and don't put too much if you do not need to put too much all right all right so that's basically going to be it for this video uh use code word super video down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video really appreciate you guys who watch the full videos for all your support let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing in your series and look out for how to win series two coming tomorrow all right remember to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed remember to smash that like button if you have not yet smashed the like button let's see if we can get 200 likes on these videos and yeah that's basically going to be it see you guys in the next one peace well good guys bye